Yes, no good. Once again, welcome to Nook's Tavern, the in-game, in-studio podcast all about Animal Crossing New Horizons. If you want to support the show, you can go to patreon.com slash Nook's Tavern or right here on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Nook's Tavern and I guess donate them some bits or subscribe or something. I don't know. <clears throat> so I guess uh, uh, with me as always is the 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 Kurt to my Phil, my little brother, uh, Tote Bag. Hey, Totes, uh, how you doing this week? I'm all right, Bagman. How are you? Well, uh, you know, look, the the guys said they were taking some time off for this week and of course they put us up on april fools so we're sure to get the best credibility out of today's episode yeah Um, it's funny how that happened right yeah but you know at least people know that you exist so that's cool um yeah so uh, so i look here's the thing we're you know that we finally have a venue where we can talk about nook and all of the corruption that happens but we we really have to still cover i guess some news or something but um so what's going on on your island i don't have an island oh yeah i thought that, I thought that island that i dropped you off at with all those bamboo shoots and everything i thought i thought you were building a house there no no there's too many uh tarantulas so oh, of course, yeah. No, I I've been you know I've been doing all right. Um, I, I've been living under people's docks every so often. You know, I'll just move around. I'll, I'll, I'll catch a ride on the bottom of a one of those seaplanes. Yeah, and then exactly. I'll live under the dock for a little bit. Uh, you know, there's enough clams and sea basses to sustain me for a while. And well, with the, with the ocean there, I've got all the drinkable water I need. So you know, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Yeah, you're not you're not sleeping in that uh, that sales box outside of Nook's ta- of, of not Nook's Tavern, the, the Nook's Cranny again, are you? No, not anymore. No, fool, right. fool me twice. Shame on oh, me. It's the rotten turnips that just make it unlivable. I find them comfortable to sleep on. Yeah, well, the it's all bit... fun and d- fine and dandy till you wake up wake up with them up your nose. Mm, I'm okay with it. Yeah, okay. But yeah, other than that, you know, just living, you know, I, I got, I, I, I'm literally off the grid. And, uh, I don't have any kind of ties to society or, or, or the masters who run them. Are you, uh, are you able to spread the good word? Constantly. Good, good. So, uh. What about yeah. you? You still, uh, uh, you still hiding out in your bunker? Well, I'm trying to, yeah, um, at some point I'm pretty sure Harvey's gonna find, I mean, the bunker that I'm staying at is gonna be found out, so, um, I'm constantly, I got a go bag with me all the time, and, and know that I need to move at any given moment, so, Good. yeah, it, you know, it is what it is, it, Good. you know, Good. so, I guess we should probably Jump into the news. All right. I they left us notes. <sighs> what, do you, okay. what do you got? What do you got? All right. Well, um, actually, from my perspective, this is kind of good news. Um, those Sanrio cards came out where where they were exclusive at Target for about 30 seconds um, yeah. on last Friday morning. Yeah. And... Uh, Kurt and Phil didn't find any. No? No. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, I was pretty happy about that. Um, turns out, though, Emily ended up finding some, so she sent a picture just to a, a, annoy Kurt and Phil, which was really cool. Oh, um, that's true. That's good. Yeah, she, she's a good one, that Emily. She, you know, she'll, she likes to, to rub in the bad news where it's appropriate, so... Um, yeah. So, 
obviously the Sanrio cards were just yet another grasp by Tom Nook to invite people to the island, see the newcomers, but only if you buy my cards. And, oh yeah, you're not going to be able to find them, so ha ha. Yeah, uh, what, I, I've seen them go for at least 20, 25 bucks now on, uh, on the internet. Yes. And they were normally, what, six or seven dollars? Si- I like think they were six bucks, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, way to go, Nook. That's fantastic. Well, I also read that Target did a really weird rollout where you could only do it online. Yes. And so, like, getting it off the shelf was never an option, but they were never really, really upfront with that. So I found that a little odd. Until the day before. Right? Like, you would think, yeah. uh, give people time to plan or anything, but no. Oh, but come on. Look, look. If you're, if you're in bed with Nook and talking about, uh, you know, have it, having a stranglehold on, on the market, um, what, what better way to set people up than to make them expect that they're going to be able to find them on the shelf, don't tell them until the day before that that's not going to be possible, and now you've got them coming into your store looking for them, so they're probably going to buy a Coke. Well, or, or you know, a Starbucks. Right, exactly. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Man, you're so, so wise. Uh, well, you know, I've been doing this for a long time. And, you can tell. Uh, look, I don't enjoy it, but it needs to be told. So, so speaking of corporate corruption, uh, we've got this next story that Games Radar was brave enough to uh, post, and it took out. It took out. <laughs> so, uh, oh. April Fools on me. Um, so, Boy, is your bag red? Boy, is my bag. Red. Yeah, okay. So, um, turns out that if you go to resident services and you visit Tom Nook, you'll see he has a printer in the background. You know, one of those big multifunction printers that, that are stand about three or four feet tall. Yeah. Tur- turns out a, a Redditor tracked it down and it's in Xerox Work Center 7225. I think that just means that Tom Nook has corporate sponsorship in the in, in the way of Xerox. My and question. F- oh yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, I was just gonna say that I think they're fen- they're funding his entire operation at least at Resident Services. I'm a little surprised there's not a Resident Services by Xerox above uh, that that building. Well, those are twelve hundred dollars. Yeah. That's a, that's that's a lot of bells. Yeah, and I think but we did the conversion uh, early on uh, when Kurt and Phil were trying to find out what what the bells translated to, and I think I think what what it was at the time was uh, we told them that it was a thousand bells for every ten dollars. So twelve hundred dollars. That's what like one point two million bells or something like that. Um, math, math is hard. Yeah, I don't, I don't do math. Um, there's a lot of clams. If we're talking clams, I know what it would translate to, but... Oh, okay. I don't yeah, use I mean, bells. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's fair. That's, that's actually the safest way to go. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes but, you just gotta buy a new bag, though. Or and you can only sand dollars. Bells. A lot of sand dollars. A lot of sand dollars. Yeah, that's good. Um, uh, yeah, it's cause simoleons aren't available yet. No, no, not here at least. I mean, I can get my hands on some, but yeah, I uh, I would like to see. I would like to see paperwork to see if this is being embezzled through uh, the the. Oh, well, I'm sorry. It's it, 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 Of course, it is. He runs the banks. He runs the services. He runs everything. Exactly. So yeah, I was gonna say, so... show me the paper trail, but you're the one who writes the paper trail. Right. So, at some point, I expect that we'll see, um, oh, a gift in the mailbox of a little model Xerox printer. It'll be great. Um, so, alright. Well, that's well, enough we, talking we, about. Okay, but we already, yeah. we've already seen all the sponsorships from, from corporate entities, you know, bringing their quote-unquote islands. The Hellman's Islands. Uh, KFC. You know, KFC has done it. You know, even, yeah, even I, political, I, yeah. 
even political parties have jumped into the game now. Yeah. You know? uh, I, what, there was the, the Joe Biden Island, right? I mean, Biden Island, yeah. Oh, man. That's probably, just... probably an AOC Island, I would expect, but I, I don't know. I believe so. I don't know, man. I don't, uh, I don't, I don't follow politics for reasons. Yeah. Oh, okay. great. I'm, I'm glad that he's getting good use out of it. But that's another thing. Like, we live in a digital age, and you're still going to be running around using paper? Like, right. That's, first off, that's wasteful. And right. secondly, I mean, I've peered through the windows of resident services a couple times for recon missions. I've never seen him use it. Right. Right, well... To be fair, I think that Isabel is the one that's being made to use it, um, and, she, and you know, and, and like any captive, he makes it look good when you go in, uh, like she's not tied up at the time, and, and that you can see, happy. yeah, yeah, you can see the fear in her eyes. Yeah, but you also so, can't see the feet, so. Oh, that's true. She could be bound or chained to that Xerox, so. Well, all right, let's move on. I'm getting more depressed. Uh, so Nintendo Wire reports that uh, there's a new version of the Nook Link app, which is that app that allows Tom Nook to trace all and track all of your movements. Nook G. Yeah. Yeah. So well, it, yeah, in Nook, Nook G, right? Yeah. And so apparently now to entice even more people to use the app, uh, they're giving away Nook Miles points. Oh. And if you log in, you get 10 Nook Miles points and what they call Words of Wisdom by Katrina. Um, I don't know. I just, the, today's Words of Wisdom, because I had to check it out to see what this was all about, I am installing it um, only on my burner phone and then tossing it in the dumpster. But... Uh, it's if you dance like no one is watching in front of a mirror, it still technically counts. Well, I'm seeing words of wisdom now, and it says results are better, so get to work. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah. What? How is that words of wisdom? So I think that uh, what we have found out is that. Here, here's my, here's my, we, you know, we've seen that there's a lack of gyroids on the islands, right? Yeah. Uh, those guys used to be everywhere. They were, they were standing up for people and, and just showing solidarity. And they're nowhere to be found. And I think it's because they tried to unionize. Oh, well, that would make sense. The great... So, Gyro yeah. extinction. But, so that Nook maintains a, a, a handle on things, we're seeing one gyroid there when you make a bridge. And he's just being held there as an example. Or, do you think that, or do you think that he's actually uh, the only one that's willing to be compliant with the... The overall oh, I don't think he's trying to be compliant. I, I think, I, I mean, who would do that on purpose? Uh, I don't know, man. Some people uh, would rather fall in line than fall on a sword. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, I just hate to think that way about people. You know? So, all right. So, anyhow... Update your Nook Link app if that's something you use. Just be aware that your every movement is being tracked, as well as all your purchases of custom designs and Nook knows all. But remember, results are better, so get to work. Get to work. Yeah, it's just like Nook. Uh, okay, so... Oh, really? They put this in? All right, let's talk Zipper the Bunny. Bunny Bear right. is coming. I've I've seen I've seen him. He's yeah. he's back. He's back. You know, I think we talked about this. Uh, you weren't around. You weren't in the studio last year, but I think 
we talked about this. The disturbing thing is that it's clearly that that Zipper is wearing a costume. He's not a native animal like like everybody else on the island. And there's a reason he's got to be hiding his identity. Where were you last Easter? I don't I don't keep a calendar on me, so and by the way, what are you a cop? No, get out of here! <laughs> oh come on, look, I'm your big brother. I, I mean, look, we're both fighting for the same thing. Uh, I know. I just, I, I, you, you don't need to know where I was. Well, and to be fair, we are on the air, so I understand. I was at um, work. That I believe. Yes. Yeah, we can leave it at that. You were at work. Yeah. Um. So, uh, what I'm, what I'm hoping is that the, the whole egg day event is based around gathering the community together in an effort after a time to organize them to fight against the power. That's what I'm hoping for. Well, see, um, I... I really enjoyed Zipper. You did? Why you is did. that? He, well, he was spreading, spreading chaos and ups, upsetting the status quo through everyone's islands. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, I, I tend to try to just spread information and, and go straight at it. But there is an appeal, and there is some upside to the chaos end of things. You do shake things up, and if you can, if you if you're good at that, that's great. That's not the way I can operate. But um, if if Zipper can can gain support by spreading chaos, I'm all for it. Actions speak louder than words, Bagman. You know this. Was is that on the words of wisdom again? I I th mm hmm. Yeah. Totes, totes trivia. Yeah. Totes trivia. Yeah, it's oh. it's my my newsletter, trivial totes, totes okay. notes is what totes I'm calling you now. Yeah. Oh, that is so much better. You should go with that. Yeah, I'll have to update my things. <laughs> Your things. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, uh, yeah no, I got you. Your your underground zines. Your 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 uh uh dark dark web notes. That you, yeah, that you leave for people. Yeah, no, I get it. Bag um, Chan. Bag Chan. Yep. You gotta be careful on those. You can only go to the right ones. Um, so one of the things that they did do, and I and I can't decide if this is a a a, a zipper trying to get support or if it's Nook trying to uh, trying to entice again, but they did add more bunny items that you can get, but you can only buy them, it looks like, through Nook's Cranny. Like one of those seasonal, seasonal things that they love to do that's, so much? Yes, that's what it looks like. Limited supplies, but I can buy Limited as many supplies. as I want? Yep. Okay. So, so you can buy Bunny Day Candy for 1300 bells. You can buy Bunny Day Garden Flag for 1,500 bells. You can buy a Bunny Day Topiary for 2,000 bells. A Bunny Day Planter Box for 2,300 bells. And a Bunny Day Tree for 3,800 bells. Um, and those are new as of this year. They weren't around last year, so clearly he's just trying to cash in again. Do you know if there's different variations in colors that would make people want to, like, go out and buy as many as possible? I don't know because I've not seen them yet because I'm still a little afraid of going into Nook's Cranny. Gotcha. But it would not surprise me if if that were the case uh, because they do like to cash in on all the variants of of all of these, so... I would imagine that if we were to go and check it out in the Nookazon, 
it would probably show there. Uh, but I've only seen, I've seen like for the, for the uh, funny day garden flag that there are no variations. Okay. So. No, I don't use Nikazon. Yeah, well, why would you? That's it's just another corporation. Yeah. Yeah. So, Jeff Tezos, get out of here. <laughs> uh, I love it when people make fun of him. Okay, so. Let's see. Uh, so there's that. Oh, good. Yeah, so. Okay, let's just cut to the chase. This is April 1st, and typically it's April Fool's Day. And as such, when I was looking to see if there was any real news of the revolution, I came up with just various things that people were reporting, like people are happy with 1.9 update, and people were happy with Zipper coming back and whatnot. So I dug and I dug and I dug and found that there was some real news. Oh. And so Nintendo is reporting that the 2.0 update is coming, and it is going to be the last update, and Nintendo isn't going to update the game anymore. So, for me, I think that's great news. Well, it's wonderful news. It, yeah, because then we don't have to, you, you know, what we're fighting against is a known quantity. We won't have to worry about new features that quote-unquote people want, and, and any quality of life upgrades that's how they keep you down if you're if you're not annoyed with the system then you're not awake so so that's that was one of the things so keep you know keep it in mind folks 2.0 is coming and that's going to be the end of the game um and then this other news um because look it's been a long time coming but Animal Crossing New Leaf is going to be ported to the Switch. Oh, that's wonderful. It's about time. We really should have had this right more. after the New Horizons launch. They should have launched it. Yeah, you're right. Like, a couple days after. Hey, right. you like Animal Crossing. We'll play Animal Crossing Classic. New right. Leaf. Right, exactly. The only true... You know, New Leaf is the true leaf, as is, is I like it's, to say. That's what they say. I mean, everybody says that. You can't, right. you can't get better than New Leaf. No, New Horizons? Come on, you're literally just taking the title from New Leaf and repurposing right. it. Right, exactly. I, so, things are so much better when New Leaf was around. It really was. It really I was wonder if they're going to shut down the, um, the homemade servers of New Leaf players that have been out there, you know, modding these servers and doing it themselves by taking their code. Well... The thing is, I don't, I'm not even sure I believe that's happening. I believe that it could be Nintendo making us believe that those are homebrew servers. Mm. And they're still collecting and monitoring. Yeah, but it wouldn't be... It would be like Nintendo as a corporation to want to capitalize on... Well, I guess information is worth more than money. Right, like, and how else are they going to quell the uh, the outrage that would be... If people actually found out that Tortimer was dead, uh, you know, it, it's just uh, they're, 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 he's in the game, so hey, he must still be alive. It's oh, all a sham. Yeah, he's 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 on an island up north, right? Just yep. relaxing. No, come on, nobody still yeah. believes that Tortimer's still alive. I know, I know. Uh, I'm starting to believe guys like Brewster aren't alive, but um, I, I. I still, I'm hoping, because he was he was a fighter, so. Always um, sitting down with not only a good cup of joe, but a true story to go with it. That is true. I miss his stories. Hopefully we'll see him the next time. Mm. So, okay, so then, uh, oh yeah, and for those of you who are really excited about Bunny Day, um, another announcement today that Bunny Day is extended, right? Yeah, this is what I've been reading and, and researching and double-checking my, my facts on this, but uh, finally they're doing something right. They've heard uh, the community scream out that these these events, these holidays, are just too short. 
Um, but, you know, we're, we're about to get into cherry blossom season, right? And, and that lasts yes. for, what, a couple days to maybe a week? If you can even catch them. That's true. Um, but Nintendo has heard you. The Nook Corporation has heard you. So they're extending Bunny Day until April 31st. Just to uh, to give back to the to the people demanding that we have more more time than just a few days to try to get these impossible items. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. It's 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 about time they extend that and give people because they because people didn't have enough time last year. Well, yeah, do everything they wanted to do. It but was also, a tease. It, but also, real quick, um, you know, I've I've read that these drop rates on some of these eggs are going to be harder to get, you know, because supplies are limited conveniently oh, this year. Again, so and those, those water, water eggs, apparently, no, you can't get them this year. So, yeah, that's uh, great. But at least they're extending the, the time period of the holiday uh, so that you have a better shot of actually acquiring some of these water eggs. Yeah, and not getting them for an even longer period of time. That's good. Yes. Yeah. So, so anyhow, yay, uh, Bunny Day, I guess. Uh, yay, yay, okay. hooray, it's Bunny Day. Yay. Uh, all right, so I guess we take a break now. Give us a time to reroute the signal, I suppose. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, so why don't we take a break and, oh, I forgot we have to address the guys on Twitch. Oh boy, all right, so let's take a break. All right, bring us back in. They'll never know. You sure? Okay. And welcome back to Nook's Tavern, the end game in studio podcast um, about Animal Crossing New Horizons. Okay, um, these these two idiots have Nookazon listed, but we're not going Nookazon because of all the tracking cookies that they got. So uh, I guess we'll just jump into Community Spotlight. I will say, in a weird turn of events, I did go looking for some community things to Spotlight. Um, you know, what, you, you're bringing me your two favorite, your, your, your favorite things? Yeah, for um for this for this week, um there's a YouTube video, um, which is, that somebody had put together, and I'm gonna bring up their information right now, but they put it together, which was basically a recording of just the the regular Animal Crossing New Horizons theme song, but because this is the soundtrack of our lives, um, it's here for 10 hours it's 10 hours of the theme song non-stop um thank you so much to youtuber 10 tube who has 534 i mean 535 subscribers um i i can only support this so much uh, I'm, I'm gonna thumbs up it too uh, because 10 hours come on that's that's dedication for you so uh we're, we're, and we're gonna listen to this live oh great to Good. completion yeah yeah because they're not gonna be back until tomorrow at the earliest so so all right so Is, we, it's I guess from we'll, 10 tube 10 tube so does that mean every every video that he hosts or posts on this website are all 10 hour long videos uh, well let's see um the Among Us theme song for 10 hours, Little Nightmare's main theme for 10 hours, Bowser's Fury theme song for 10 hours, yeah, 10 hours of the Fall Guy, uh, Fall Guy's music, 10 hours of Rocket League theme, yeah, that's what he does, he's doing, he's doing the people's work. Right on, brother, fight the power 10 hours at a time. 10 hours at a time. So this one, uh, however, and he, he gets a decent amount of views. But this one is uh, at 20 views right now. 21, because well, I watched it for 10 hours first. But um, 20 views, and I expect that'll be 20,000 next week. 
I would hope so, yeah. I mean, we're only two minutes in, so we still have a lot of time on this. Okay, so, cool. All right, so this this next YouTube video I brought, though, um, is what I like to call the, the theme song for all the residents of all the islands. And it's a, I guess, Kurt and Phil like to do pop music videos done with Animal Crossing villagers. Pop-up videos? So, Something like that, yes. And this is Freddie Mercury singing, I Want to Be Free. Oh, I get it. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about adopting it for for the, the Bagman theme song. Because, look, that's, that's what the fight is about. It's about freedom. It's about freedom from tyranny and corruption. This, however, unfortunately, is not 10 hours long. Well, that all depends on how many times you rewatch it. Well, no, you can loop it, sure, but it's but it's not natively ten hours long. But uh, <laughs> it... Mario, I'm sorry, seeing Mario yes. with long hair just threw me for a loop. Right. Yes. So he happened to uh, change his disguise to to use some of the new uh, Mario disguises uh to to make it look kind of like freddie mercury fighting the power i think yeah interesting so, yeah so uh and then you brought something Who, who's that who's that brought to us by oh i'm sorry that was uh brought to us by i was still listening to the town hour theme song uh, let's see this is brought to us by animal crossing poyo uh, who has three subscribers hmm. and 87 views. So, give this guy a listen. He uh, He's doing the work of the people as well. And, uh, yeah, it's good. It's all very good. And look, who doesn't like some queen? It's true. Right? Yeah. Even I like popular music. Do you? Who's your favorite who's your favorite group right now? Uh, Square Pizza. Oh uh, Square Pizza. Reminds me of school. I know. Yeah, well you know what? They say you uh the music you listen to in high school is the music you listen to for the rest of your life. It really is the music of our lives. This is uh, right. anyway. Yeah. What are you okay. a cop? Get out of here. So, uh, this next one you brought, to yeah. Us, right? Yeah, I, I just, I found this clever, I found this on a, on a page, and, uh, with these porthole, I'm sorry, these standee holes, uh, that can be customized now, people have been turning them into portholes? Oh, I see. And having the, having a restaurant with, uh, with, like, fish moving behind it? I don't know how I do it. I don't get it. But it looks nice. Oh, it's, it's, isn't there a, like a fish wallpaper? How can a fish be a wallpaper? Well, no, not the fish itself. But isn't there like a wallpaper that have fish on it? Like this is moving. Fish? This is moving. Back oh, then. it's moving. Um, so... So I've been looking for this sushi restaurant under the sea, and I'll I'll be able to find it at some point. I'll get back to you. Yeah, please do, please do. I hear they 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 have a nice uh, blue ring octopus special that I'm trying to get my teeth into. Oh great! I I've been looking forward to a a, a nice crunchy Pietro roll or something, and uh, just haven't found the right vendor for it yet. I get that. I get that. Yeah, so, yeah. well, all right. So, I guess that's the end of the community spotlight because, well, everybody's just so darn positive that uh, it's it's like he's got everybody fooled. Well, yeah. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Why do you come on this show so much? Well, they have an audience, and it's really to to 
let people know and clue people into the the corruption behind uh, Tom Nook. <laughs> yeah. Okay, hold on. Yeah. What was that last word you said? Corruption. Tom Nook. Tom Nook. Yes, you know Tom Nook. He's behind everything. You, brother. You realize that this 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 thing that you're doing, the show that you're on, is literally called Nook's Tavern, as if he's the corporate money holder and the financer of this program. Uh... How, how did you not put two and two together? Have you have you talked about the financial backing? Of this show to Kurt or Philip? I, uh, I, I have not. Uh, I, they seemed like uh, straight up guys. Uh, they, they were willing to let me talk negatively about Tom Nook. I, I, I. Yeah, because they're probably to... recording it and sending it over to him. Oh. Ah, oh, man, that hadn't occurred to me, so... Uh, let, let me think now. Uh, you know what this calls for? This calls for us to do a, a, a deep dive on, on Phil and Kurt. Are you going to do that now, or are you going to go and do research and come back to do it? Well... I think I think we gotta do a little research. I think I think okay. you know I think that what we should do. Yes, what we should do is this time next month, May first, we should or or whatever that Thursday night is, we should also take over the signal again and just do a deep dive on Kurt and Phil. Okay. Okay. I I think. Well, I don't use calendars, so you'll oh, have to know. you'll have to send me some snail mail. Yeah, I will. I, I know this snail over in City Seventeen. He'll he'll help you out. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm that's you're you're not wrong. I it took me a while to get here, so I might just stay under their dock for 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 a couple 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 months. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, that would be helpful. So I'll I'll make sure I send that to you. Okay. And and we'll we'll do a deep dive on those guys and uh, get to the bottom of it. There's got to be. Oh, you really. I can't believe you didn't think about this. You blew my mind a little bit. I I just. Now I'm now I'm worried. Uh. Don't let me come on and say whatever I want. Yeah, but if if you're working for the man, what better research? To see what's going on on the other side is giving somebody a platform and then just recording it. Do they record this? Yeah, because that's how the that's how the word gets out. <sighs> Hundreds of people hear these things every Tens? week. I'm just I'm I'm not mad. Uh, I'm just I'm not even. Oh man, what what are you gonna do? Well, at least now you have uh, your eye on the prize. And, uh... Yeah. You know what? You know what's going to be good? They won't see this coming. Not at all. No, they won't. No, so we got to keep this quiet. All right. Um... Right. Hmm. Uh, how do they end the show? Do they... Uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay, here, so... Give me their paper. All right, here. Take it. All right. You can follow them at Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Spotify, and Twitch at Nook's Tavern. This episode of Nook's Tavern was brought to you by their executive producers, a.k.a. the Bagman Brigade. You gave them your name? They were supporters, man. They gave... Hold on. you, But, but you gave Phil and Kurt your name to use as... Oh. As a as a thing? Did you sell that to them? Do they own your identity now? No, they don't. They don't. Oh. I've got a trademark that I've, I've got a utility patent on my name. I would check that. Uh okay. Bamel. Cool. 
If you want to support the show, you can head over to their Patreon at patreon.com slash Nook's Tavern. I really don't know how you missed this. Uh, go to iTunes and live a five-star review. What the heck does that even mean? Oh, uh, they just say it every week. Thank you to Emily Swan for their album art and the wonderful weekly art she produces for Nook's Tavern every episode and you can support her over at patreon.com slash a swan name emily or twitch.tv slash a swan name emily if you have a story from your island that you would like to share you can email the show at nooks tavern at gmail.com there is really no way for you to miss this i'm just to uh, join the wonderful community over at in Discord at tiny.cc again slash Nook's Tavern. Do you even listen to the show after they they post it? No, because they can they can track you if you listen. Okay. Alright, um Bagman. Yes. Where can people find you? Well, pretty much only over on Twitter because I use burner phones to, to tweet at, at Mr. E. Bagman, that's M-R-E Bagman on Twitter. And uh, I guess if you want to be apprised of what those other guys are doing too, you can follow them on Nook's Tavern on Twitter uh, as well. At least you'll know what they're up to and you can avoid it if you want to. Uh, I know that uh, Phil has some name that he goes by and so does Kurt. I think Kurt's is VO by Kurt on Twitter and Twitch and Phil's is... No, I'm not promoting them. No? Pro- I mean, you've already promoted them because... Okay, alright. Bagman, I think you're working for the man. Oh, look, I'm, I, I'm your big brother. How, how? It's not even possible. You know what they did to dad and mom. Don't you ever bring that up. Look, as the older brother, I have to make sure that you remember. I remember. But do you remember who you are? I remember. I remember it all. Well, what else do we have to do? Uh, Nothing. Good. Need to leave. I'm leaving. Alright, bye. Bye.